Hello everybody, I'm Eric Walker for AllForSciFi.com and welcome to another unboxing video. As I've said in the past, this is one of my favorite things to do. As you can see, I love Star Wars toys. Look at all the ones behind me. If this is the first time you've ever run across our channel, please hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video like this unboxing video or every time we do our live weekly webcast uh, where we review movies, sci-fi TV shows that are streaming like The Bad Batch or uh, Star Trek Lower Decks or just everything sci-fi. That's because we're called all for sci .com. and today we're gonna unbox this bad boy. I'm excited to do this unboxing. Here it is, so without further ado, here is the Cal Kestis from Gaming Greats. This is the new Cal Kestis, as you can see, the new one, which has a lot more, a lot more accessories. As you can see, uh, BD1 is bigger in this one. The little, uh, the little animal too below, I forgot the name of that. Maybe someone in the comments could put the name of that uh, little creature below BD1. Cal Kestis has not one, but two lightsabers and uh, something else here. It looks like a, some sort of a, like a, maybe a Jedi type of thing that you put on. I don't know. Maybe someone could let us know what that's for as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and do this. Let's read what it says on the box. It says, Cal Kestis, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, lets players evade the Empire forces as Cal Kestis, a Padawan fugitive on a quest to complete his training and rebuild the Fallen Jedi Order. Wow, that's great. Okay, so let's go ahead and take uh, this out. Once you open it, this is what it looks like inside. Okay, let's continue. Uh, excuse all the noise, everybody. Let's take Mr. Cal Kestis himself out first. Here he is. Mr. Cal Kestis. Wow. I like his hair, do you? He's got a nice hairdo. This is side profile. Back profile. And this is not cloth goods, this is vinyl, just so you know. And uh, he appears to have back here spots to put some of the accessories. And he has an accessory right here, in fact, a tool. I guess the tool is to work on BD1, like in a game where he's working on BD1. Speaking of that, let's set him down. And let's show you everybody's new, new favorite droid, BD1. Wow, look at BD-1, yes! Can you imagine? I don't know how they could do this, but at Galaxy's Edge, if you could build a BD-1 unit, side profile, back profile, if you could build a BD-1 unit, that'd be cool. Okay, so he, his, his uh, legs do move a little bit. If he'll stand, how easy he'll stand. I'm gonna try to put him on something for you to see. Let's see if he's I'm try to, this is not a really good thing to show him off, but maybe the box cover. It's more flat. Let's see how easy he stands up. There we go. Oh, he fell. Ha! He fell. But he's definitely posable. You could probably stand him up. He's falling on this one. Boop. Sorry about that. But he's definitely posable, and you can could, you could get him to, uh, to, on a surface, probably a better surface, get him to go ahead and uh, pose him so he's fine. And here is his BD-1, or, or Cal Kestis, uh, friend. It lo looks a little bit like a... Uh, here he is. It's another accessory. He's cute, isn't he? He's cute like a, a Bobo Freak type of cute. Side profile. Back profile, he's got a little tail there. Again, turn the side profile again. And the front again. Focus. Come on. There we 
we go. He is, he is cute. What is his name? If anybody knows, put his name down in the comments below. I played the game, but I don't remember his name. Also, uh, like I mentioned, it comes with this little headpiece for Cal Kestis. So he could put this uh, head, head thing on. Here, uh, make sure we can still see his face. Probably goes down further. But there you go, the headpiece, I guess, for Cocastus. And also, he has this dual lightsaber. Look at that. That is awesome. Let's see if I can get it closer and still get it to focus. Sorry, guys, about the focusing. But isn't that cool? He's got a dual blade saber. I wonder if it, uh, wonder if it like closes. No, it doesn't. Okay. He also has another saber right here, a blue one. Here's his other lightsaber. So that's his other saber. So. Also, this is great. And I don't know if this is the first time this has ever happened as a small accessory. That's another thing. Maybe you guys could, who know more about the toys, could also make a comment in, in the comments below. Is this the first time that a holocron, he has his own holocron? That is cool. That is awesome. And it's green. It's not blue. I have a blue one. Behind me, I have a blue Jedi holocron. This one has a green, it is green. I wonder if green means something. Is it also the first time uh, a small holocron's been released with a toy? Who knows? Who knows? Let me know if you guys know in the comments some people that know more about toys. Let's take a look again at Mr. Cal Kestis. Let's go ahead and uh, check his leg movements. Oh, they're a little stiff. His ankle movements are great. You know, his, his feet's turning easy. He's got uh, ball joints down here. His legs are a little stiff. I don't like that. Um, let's try this one. Still a little stiff. And uh, But, from according to Mr. Green Leader, who is uh, someone who uh, often shares our channel, he has a group on face, Facebook called the Plastic Collectors Guild. And if you want, go ahead and join uh, their Facebook group, Plastic Collectors Guild. I mean, we call him Green Leader. Um, his name is Stephen Green. And he says that you, you use, uh, you know, warm water. Soak them in warm water. And that will uh, make a difference. Ma make the stiffness go away. Right, here we go. This, the arm movements are better. The hand movements are great. His hand, hand, his hands are moving great. Okay, this is the other side. He's got a little thing here too. Love the design. You know, he kind of, this reminds me, look at that. This right here, I'm wondering if they stole this. See this right here? This is exactly, it looks exactly like Mace Tawani's uh, little thing on the top and he had the life monitor on it in between it. Doesn't it look exactly like Mace Tawani? He had one, ex I wonder if they took it from Caravan of Courage because that, that's exactly what it looks like. Sorry I'm repeating myself, but I'm wondering if this was taken. So that's so anybody out there that wants to make a Mace Tawani, all you have to do is take this part, take this other thing off, and put the life monitor on there, and there you, there you go, you got it. That is really cool. Of course, he's wearing an orange, orange uh, flight type of suit, just like Mace Tawani wore as well. So. I wonder if Cal Kestis is really Mace Tawani, grown up, and maybe he didn't really die. Starting the rumor, starting the rumor mill, who knows. Anyway, at all for sci-fi, we have a rating system of zero to five stars. Five is the best you could get for a toy. Uh, three stars, we don't recommend going out and purchasing this. The, this uh, black series, six inch of Cal Kestis for the gaming grades, we're gonna give this an all for sci-fi rating of 4.75 stars. I just couldn't quite give it five stars. I almost did. I almost gave it five stars because it has so many accessories like two lightsabers, 
BD1, this other beautiful little creature here. It's but it just kind of misses the mark. There's a few things I don't like about the stiffness, so it got downgraded a little bit because of that. So 4.75 stars for this thing. So I do recommend it. Calcestis is beautiful, this one. Great job, Hasbro. And uh, come on, guys. Why don't you guys make the action figures from the Ewok movies? We're waiting. I'll go ahead and put the link below in the descriptions. I'll put the link below here. For, uh, we have a petition started for Hasbro and Lucasfilm to make uh, the action figures from both Ewok movies. So it'd be great to have a Mace Twani, Sindel, uh, uh, Wicket's brothers, Whittle, Weechi. Uh, it'd be great to have Teak, although we did get Teak and a Star Tours version. Uh, but also the Marauders, uh, the, the original Night Sister Shirelle, um, King Tarek. So let's get Hasbro, let's get as many signatures as we can so that they'll make action figures. Uh, from the Ewok movies because now they're on Disney Plus, so everybody's watching them now. And since uh, some of these action figures uh, are our kids, I was a kid when I played that role, and Sindel's a little girl, we don't have action figures in the Star Wars universe of, of kids to play with kids. Uh, for kids to play with kid action toys is a better way to word it. Jeez, I can't talk today. But anyway, thank you for joining me. Again, if this is the first time you run across this channel, please hit the subscribe button so you're notified every time we upload a video and every time we go live every week. I'm Eric Walker for All for Sci-Fi saying, may the force be with all of you.